Entropic just released agent skills, but what are they and how do they compare with MCP? This video will be your answer. Basically, in a very short one-liner, you can see the agent's skills as a file system based version of MCP. It's pretty much the same, but it's actually even simpler and way easier to use, which means it can be much more powerful and much more widely used. In short, an agent skill is just a folder with files in it. You will have the skill.md file, so just a markdown, describing what the skill is about. A skill can be anything like a writing type or how to execute some specific task. In this folder, along with the skill.md, you might have optionally other files like other documents relevant to the skill or script that the agent can use. So yes, here it's all made for agents. We are creating folders and sub files and files inside these folders strictly for the agents to use. Compared to MCP that we ourselves implement in the applications through API calls for the LLMs to be able to use them, here it's all made for agents themselves to have skills that they can pick and choose and use and easily allocate attention to each skill. Which leads me to something super convenient about agent skills, the token use. This is a huge problem for MCP, especially for some MCPs like the GitHub one that if you call all tools, you will quickly ramp up to tens of thousands of tokens before doing anything. This is a huge problem that is fixed with agent skills. With skills, you will only have YAML discoverable metadata about all your skills, which means that when you start Cloud Code, it will have access to all skills metadata only, and so it will already know about all skills with very few tokens compared to MCPs. And then when it thinks a skill might be relevant, it will load the skill.md, the markdown file, with more descriptions, more instructions, and how to use it. So only when using the skills, it will load all the skills instructions and descriptions, which is done by default with MCP. This makes it obviously way more sustainable and scalable, but also way easier to use. You just have metadata, a skill.md file, and the scripts and other relevant documentation inside them compared to a protocol-based API approach like MCP. So it's mainly different integrations levels. MCP sits at the API integration level with servers and clients that you call, and skills are basically plugins for your local agents. And by the way, you don't have to use cloud or cloud code even if it's super convenient. It's just a folder and file way of describing skills. So any agents can use the skills quite easily. The main downside is that it requires code execution, which isn't necessary for MCPs. Here it is, but it's not a problem for recent LLMs and recent agents. And then, even if MCP being very good for that, skills are even easier to maintain. It's just files and folders. You can edit, replace, and it will be updated inside cloud or inside your repository for any agents to use. So it's super cool, super efficient, and super easy to use. Now, to add a new skill to an LLM and make it an agent, all you need is a skill.md file inside a folder and some extra scripts or documents depending on what you wish it to do. For example, if I build a skill about my writing style for videos, I just describe that in the skill.md file and since it doesn't need any code execution, I would just tell it to use the scripts I upload as examples for writing future scripts. So here you don't need endpoints, APIs and everything. It's just local with your agentic system, one that can execute code and can then work online or even totally offline and use the skills it has. And regarding the agents, as long as it can read files and execute code, it can use the agent skills. It's super simple, just markdown files and additional documents, and really easy to use. So to recap, between MCP and agent skills, we have just a few core differences. First, MCP usually requires external API calls, whereas agent skills is all local in your file system and the agent just needs access to it and needs to be able to run code. The MCP require full endpoint spec and tool metadata, whereas the agent skills is just a markdown file and additional scripts if you need it. As I mentioned, the MCP token use is super high from the start as you need to load all the tools and descriptions. And on the other side, the agent skills token use is super efficient and only requires a dozen tokens per tool and then it only processes the tokens of the skill.md file when it uses it. So it's very similar to Python when it only loads when you import a library rather than loading everything from start. And lastly, regarding the architecture, MCP is also different from agent skills. 
MCP is a client server protocol with quite context heavy prompting. On the other side, Skills Agent is maintained with local file system modules with YAML discoverable metadata. I hope this video helped differentiate both and that it maybe made you a bit more excited about agent skills. If you want to try it, it's available on the cloud.ai platform just to try it as a user, or you can try it with any agents locally with your code. I'm Louis Francois, CTO and co-founder of Towards AI, and follow me to learn more about AI.